Oh, sorry. <laughs> Welcome to what will be the final Filthy Talk in this location. Uh, wow. Which is a bittersweet thing. Very bittersweet thing. But uh, wow. Filthy Talk uh, being our weekly live panel discussion show, it will not be weekly past this point. You won't see us again for probably about a month. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. Easily. Because we're moving. Uh, we are moving to a new studio. And uh, we will be doing a what we're just calling a janky version of the show uh, because our new studio is not finished yet. So <laughs> when we get over there, we're going to, even if we have to set up some folding tables. We'll figure it out. And, and Make a it laptop work. and a camera and a couple microphones. Yeah. Uh, we're going to give you guys updates of the progress of the new studio. So stay tuned for that. Though, and I, I would imagine those would be about a month away. Yeah, probably like a month, like five weeks. Yeah. Ish. Yeah, something like that. You'll see us toward the end of April, early May is when we'll start giving you updates from the new studio. But uh, this will be, we have to pack up a lot of stuff. So. <laughs> all of this. Yes. All of this has got to well, go. We're not packing all of this. We're packing all the little things. It's tough. But, Stuff's uh, got to go. Yeah. But, uh, okay. So. Um, we are, uh, this is, sorry, I'm a little flustered because it's our last one and it's a little like, eh. Uh, but I'm Trevor Gemma, this is Chris Livingston, uh, returning as fact checker and chat liaison. We have Matt Baker and we're going to be rotating through our other guests today, kind of like we did with our very first episode of the show. Mm -hmm. So our first two up, we have Natasha Wynn and Lauren Beeson. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Two um, people that started here very early on. Very early. Very on. early on. That's right. Yeah. I remember meeting both of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. When that happened. We've, I met specifically in this building, yeah. and none of this existed. No. Yeah. We were, remember there was like on the wall over here. It was yeah. all of like our our schedule. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was up on the wall here. <laughs> well, there was like a very uh, like weird map from an old. Show yeah. that it's was still on the wall. There. Still up there. And, map. Yeah, and I came in for an interview here before I was starting on another show, and I was like, I'm going to be in Guam, and you guys were asking me, where's Guam? And I was like, they're on the map, <laughs> pointing. <laughs> but I also think the map had, like, the USSR on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, it was old. Yeah, yeah, it was old. It was cool, though. Big, it was. Uh, big, easy, the biggest. It looked yeah. like, a, like, a, like a villain's lair with yes. a giant world yeah. map. Oh, yeah. Except and that it was on the ground, also, actually, was... Uh, so it was like a seal, right? Like the oh, presidential yeah. seal or something? Yeah. Like yeah. That? yeah, that was weird. But everything at that end, I I remember walking in like our first time in here and I was just like, this feels really familiar. And then I was like, is this Tron? Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. It, totally. It was the house from Tron Legacy, yeah. like uh, looking out at not what you looked out on in the movie. <laughs> no. but, uh, yeah. but I was just like, oh, my God, they haven't taken this set down. <laughs> like, <laughs> The weirdest thing about that, the, uh, the, the Tron thing, is it's like our balcony, that's his, that was part of his apartment, but I, <laughs> I saw the scene and I was like, for some weird reason, they inverted it so that the, the, yeah, the train bridge is on that side. Really? Weird. Yeah, like such a weird thing to change. It was no, like... They just shot the plate background from like 30 minutes, 30 meters over. Yeah, but like the orientation of it. Oh. Thanks, Guy Daddy. <laughs> Come in with the, with the, the facts. facts. Yeah. The facts. facts. Hitting us with facts. <laughs> From God. But God, that was three years ago. That was three years ago. And now, now the question is, what is going to happen to a filthy lot when we're no longer on a filthy lot? What, True. what is gonna, hey. we're gonna have an identity crisis. Yeah. Uh, gonna, we we'll, bring the filth wherever we are. We're gonna yeah, transition into something yeah. else that's filthy. Yes, oh, so whole. <laughs> no, I, no, that's not. No, yeah. we, we will, uh, we'll, yeah. we'll bring the filthy. It'll, yeah. be, it'll be fine. It's okay, I've already gone over and during the uh, construction phase of our new space, I've been uh, hiding a couple little things just to like pop up later. Fish in the walls? Fish in the walls. I got a goose yeah, like hidden somewhere, <laughs> waiting for water to start dripping through it. It's like, it's gonna be set up so that we, we have some comfort. You know, you're building walls right now. We have a lot of fake corpses. <laughs> so have you thought about putting a corpse in the wall and then drywalling we're, it? We've thought about doing that here. Yes. Yeah. Oh. oh. I'm actually like leaving it. I have mentioned many times that that's my fear of us digging into the walls here or finding a corpse. Yeah, so let's, I, let's not. Because there, there are, there were, and still are, like literal standing clouds of flies, and I don't know if that's natural for flies to do that. I think they're supposed to fly around, but mm -hmm. they're just like in a cloud. Yeah, and I think. I think that points to death or demon possession. Yes. So you know, you would either know. one. Well, you would know. Very yes. You lived demon. in the demon house, so <laughs> that's true. That's true. So I mean, we've had fire, we've had flood, 
yep. we've had. Wow. Yeah. I mean, now's the time to tell the stories of this place. If yeah. you have any particular stories Wait, you what's want your, to tell. What's your oh, favorite God. story? Uh, I My favorite story is probably the time that raccoons started breaking through the ceilings and walls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this was about, this was like spring, like, like June 2020. So like there was a yep. few people around here, but a lot of people were working remote. <laughs> And um, Sarah comes up from the second floor and she's like, what do I do with this? And there's this tiny little raccoon kit who's like a little bit dazed and upset. And she's like holding him and he's just like, ah! <laughs> and, and it had fallen horrifically through her ceiling, this poor thing, because uh, a raccoon had uh, kits in, in the walls. And um, so we, it looked okay, but we called a rescue and the rescue took it because um, through other things, we found out that the mother was dead. Uh, and then a few days later, other raccoon stories show up in other parts of the building, little yep. kits. And um, they were in the bathroom. One of them was in like a little yeah. thing, like a depression to cut in the ground. Yeah. yeah so move. two were found in the bathroom. Another two were found in some different walls to a to- for a total of five kits. Aww, so they were so cute. Over I think a period of a week, but like they weren't co- they were coming out because they were desperate for food. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because mom wasn't coming. So yeah. um, we managed to get them all like to the same rescue. You know, and uh, I suspect that they grew up and then dumped them back here since we then again had more raccoons <laughs> the next fall in the walls. Yeah. yeah. The I cycle continues. Favorite, the otter show. I think my favorite raccoon thing was that they got into this studio. Like, into the, we, have, we have a couple different stages here, and one of them, is, we call this one the south stage, and they had gotten in here at night, and there's a bunch of food, like, there's like a little like snack area, and they specifically went after Doritos. <laughs> Which Big was on the weird. Doritos. They went. They, there was a whole bunch of different yeah. chips, and they just like they. There was little grubby raccoon prints <laughs> with like cheese, like Dorito <laughs> cheese. It's it was, big cheese powder. Yeah. I get it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh man. Yeah. It's like nothing quite like where you're walking around here and then you just feel like your hair in your back and it stands up and your your neck's itching and you look and there's beady little eyes staring at you from yeah. the crevice like. Yeah. God, yeah. Hey. Oh yeah, no. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a big fake cheese addict as well. So, so <laughs> raccoons, I understand. Yeah. The otters followed that though, and the otters were not as cool, man. They bring some smells with them. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of fish in the walls. Yeah. 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 They bring some smells. Legit fish in the walls. Yeah. Around that exact same time, we had an otter show up that was injured. He had a whole messed up shoulder. I don't know from what. I mean, we didn't do anything, but he showed up and he was in a in a bad way. So they managed to corner him and put him in a crate and get him to the same wildlife rescue. But like, the the I was talking to the lady on the phone and uh, from the rescue, and she's like, "Don't you know? Don't uh, just try to get it cornered, but like, don't try to touch it because they're really, really vicious." And like, they got mouthful of like necrotic damage <laughs> bacteria. They're like D and D villains. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like if you get bit by one, it's like you're in a bad position. Oh no. That's good. So they have like a like a like a bacteria thing that yeah. happens in there. Yeah, they've like bacteria in their mouths, and like the thing opens its mouth and it's just like, <laughs> you know. Cats are actually like that too. The main danger from being bitten by a cat is the uh, infection you're absolutely gonna get. Oh, yeah. that's good to know. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Be house cats. Oh. Yeah, yeah. They just their mouths are have that kind of bacteria in them. Yeah. Huh. When a when a bird gets away from a cat, more often than not, it dies later. From infection. Gross. Yeah, sad, huh? <laughs> when I worked uh, the at the vet know. clinic, a uh, cat went to town on my knuckles. And uh, yeah, they were like, okay, you're going to the hospital for antibiotics. I'm like, what? I'm fine. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, I was just like rinsing it, my hand in the cold water. And then, uh, it's, pff, it's no problem. I was like, uh oh, I need a seat. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it happened quick. Oh, that wasn't infection. That was just like, blood loss and shock. (laughs) It was the angriest cat I've ever had to deal with. And uh, we needed to do surgery on it. And uh, so we needed to get it unconscious. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant your hand. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, I'm like, wow, that's really With the cat. So the way that you restrain a uh, aggressive cat without hurting it is scruff at the back of the, or hint on the scruff, and then you grab their back two legs and just stretch a little bit. Oh. Uh, I mean, don't pull hard, but they can't do much then. <laughs> and they can't reach around to uh, like... bite your hand. I thought. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, that cat turned its head around like I've never seen and just <laughs> laid into my knuckles. Oh my God. But I couldn't let it go 
because it's the scariest cat ever. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. I'm just trying to bring it back to its kennel with it oh, just no. like chewing on my hand. Mm. Yeah. Good times. Uh, <laughs> Natasha, do you have a favorite Agitan story? Hmm, it is it is so hard to choose because this place is just a plethora of <laughs> silk <laughs> and drama and just wonderful things. Yeah. But I did like how every Christmas we come back to a wonderful surprise and by wonderful I mean like <laughs> terrible disaster. So one year, I think my favorite was all the water to the lot is stolen from <laughs> from a ship. Hold well, on now, stolen. hold on. Not stolen, <laughs> we'll not stolen. Steal it. It's, it is borrowed yeah. from the shipyard across the bay. So it like comes through this like PVC pipe um, underneath and then up into the building into this like very scary looking pump house and then goes up to the top, et cetera, et cetera. And that like is all the water and the taps and the toilets, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then a crab crab trawler came through with its big old trap and it just ripped that right up because it's just a tube in the water and then turns out we didn't have any water. Yeah. Um, and then that that's not even the only time that that's happened. Pretty yeah. Much. Like two <laughs> or three times? That, yeah. that specific thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. specifically yeah. a couple yeah. of times. We and lost just, water yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awful. Yeah, it's kind of a constant around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. And then through the cold uh, snap this year, we got really cold here. Uh, the uh, water pump cleaved in half. Yep. From the pressure difference that and. Uh, yeah, the cast iron water pump that uh, split yeah. in half. Yeah. That was, that was a good one. Thanks, yeah. Winter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then it was just like, okay, what can you do? I'm like, all right, ordering some outhouses. Uh, I'll be here on Tuesday. <laughs> so Welcome it's like, back to work. You yeah. don't necessarily get water out of the taps, but you do get it out of the ceiling. So <laughs> maybe it's the same amount of water in the end. Neither, neither. Is it potable or potable? Potable. Potable? Oh, I always, always it was wondered. Potable. Yeah, I've yeah. heard it's both ways, and I've always been like, I don't know what's right. But, but I suspect always... it's a regional thing, but I've always heard and said potable. Yeah. So who here has been blessed with the goose juice? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We didn't oh, know yeah. it was goose yeah. juice at the time, Heart but no. speaking of water coming down from the ceiling, yeah, you really, we learned that day, well, many days later, but we learned <laughs> that you really got to be question the water that comes out of the ceiling. Don't just bathe in it. <laughs> oh. You Otherwise, know? I would have, you know. I got, I got baptized in goose juice. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was here uh, when that, the leaks, of, it, just outside this door, there's some real horrible leaks that we're coming in, there's, there's, a, there's a facade to this building, so there's the actual wall to the building, yeah. and there's a fake wall and well, a like, gap of about like six four feet, four, yeah, four, five feet, something, something like that. that, but yeah. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's an old movie facade, but uh, the, the top of it is covered, or was, and we plastic. didn't know that uh, a goose had died because there's p high tension power lines, and it had hit the power lines and then dive bomb and, and went right through the plastic. So just, <laughs> just a big hole. The, the rain, and it's Vancouver, so yeah. it rains, uh, was piling up, but like in a dead goose, and then filtering down. Well, and the was. best part was rats had gotten up there and actually started to eat the goose. Oh, and wow. And it had actually come apart a little bit, and they'd ripped it open, and one of the rats had died next to the goose. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, the actual image I saw is like the dead goose, and then it was like ripped apart, and then there was a dead rat next to it, and it was, it was decaying, and all the water was filtering through this. And, uh, and on to us. And the number of people that walked underneath it were like, oh, what is it? It's like dripping. You're like, oh, that's, what is this? <laughs> God, we got to fix that leak. What is happening up there? <laughs> and then and a it, strange rash of pink oh, eye. When I, yeah, I remember Shane, I Shane remember is our, our, our property manager. He came up, he came to me and he shows me this photo. He goes, do we tell people about this? Because <laughs> oh he shows me the photo of the dead goose and I was like, Oh, God. And I had to <laughs> process it first. And then I was like, I think I have to tell people. Oh, about this. No. And I remember going around and telling people, and people were like, I had my mouth open. <laughs> like, I got in my mouth. <laughs> like, well, nobody should, got sick, so hey. It was just I like probably that. probably get dewormed. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, like, I remember seeing the picture and just being like, well, that tracks. That's a typical no. AFL remember, day. I was just walking around oh across the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Start having oh, really man. successful I'll weight loss after. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so this place has been full of trials and tribulations, so, mm. shall we say. Yeah. But uh, what has that afforded you the opportunity to develop new skills? Have you learned any new skills be as a result of this place? Trash ah. Disney princess. Oh yeah, well I've become a trash Disney princess. Uh, I... <laughs> what? 
It means that I go, ha, 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 and I managed to get animals out of the building. <laughs> but like, trash, trash, <laughs> trash animals. Trash. Um, crows, um, uh, seagulls that are angry, <laughs> um, otters, raccoons, um, one time a um, cormorant. Uh, they, okay, so we have like this false. Wait, did you deal with a live cormorant? Yeah, he was pissed. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was kind of like, he was only like in the, um, he was like mostly down the stairs. He'd figured out to go mostly down the stairs, so it was kind of like just a broom, like, uh, keep going, keep going. <laughs> we have like this like weird enclo- semi-enclosed balcony on our third floor, and like, it looks so tantalizing to birds to fly in, but once they fly in, they can't get out, mm. and then they get trapped in this like weird kind of glass thing, and they have to go down like, three really long flights of stairs to get out. So they can't figure it out on their own. That's not, like, I, I wouldn't get it if I was a bird. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to, like, come and, like, grab them and carry them out while they're t- pecking at you. And, How yeah. many have you actually grabbed? Uh, I think I've dealt with one crow, one cormorant, and about somewhere between four and five seagulls. Oh, my God. I got In three a, years. I, I did a seagull as well. Yeah. It was, like, a poor thing. It was vomiting and pooping at the same time. Yeah. They're kind of like snakes in that way. <laughs> it was, it was, it was having such a hard time. This is like, this is like, you arrive in the morning. Yeah. Before you make your coffee, you deal with the yeah. creature that is having a panic attack in the stairway. Then you wash your hands. Then you make your coffee. Yeah. Morning the, at AFL. The reason we deal with this a lot is that we're, we're in here early in the morning, more, more earlier than most people. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Wow. Poor little guy. That's, that's special. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, some, that's, a, that's a skill. That's yeah. a good new skill. That's a skill. Yes. I, I mean, I was. put it on a resume. <laughs> I was going to go with like facilities management, but yeah. you know. Wow. <laughs> I'd probably that's just same, say really. facilities management. Um, I've learned off road driving. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm better at it or or I'm just very used to it, but the road to this place is worse than any logging road I've ever driven up. See, and oh, that's I finally that's what got that what is. this one. Yeah, that's good yeah. job, Capri. Yeah. That's what that is. <laughs> so see that, yeah, there's dirt with like a bunch of like divots, really deep divots. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's our road. That's about right. So I did yeah. forget one step in the morning, you know, routine, which is like go on and go off roading. Yeah. 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 And just like, <laughs> like, it's like, it's not like, boop, 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 boop. It's like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. It's, and this yeah. is at three kilometers an yeah. hour. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you just yeah. need a big Jeep. That's yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it no. long ago transferred from being like that area that has potholes to the potholes. <laughs> P yeah. is just the area. Yeah. Uh, it's I mean, that real zone bad. is the potholes. Good luck. <laughs> so we think it's car. rain, but maybe someone buried treasure there and comes in. <laughs> they just come, they just keep <laughs> digging holes and they're trying to find yeah. it. Yeah. Like, it's here somewhere. Yeah. At the rate they pop up, yeah. Yeah. So it it yeah. implies action. Hmm, strangely, it happened around the time they cut down all those trees. It's almost like they're stabilizing the bank. Mm. 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 No, wow. probably treasure. No, so, yeah, definitely treasure. Now, uh, I was going to say, what are you looking forward to in the new location? But, Natasha, mm. you aren't sticking around. No, I'm not. I'm not. If there's not going to be off-roading on my way to work, I don't want to be any part of it. <laughs> this is where you've ruined me. <laughs> the excitement is too high here, and nothing yeah. else will compare. So, truly, um, it's been wild adventure. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> and so much fun. Are you, yeah. are you allowed to talk about where you're going on to? Um, I feel like I should, I don't know. I don't know enough about it, I think, to really, like, okay. plug exactly what it is, apart from the fact that it sounds very cool. If anyone wants to donate to Pacific Wild, go for it. They're yeah. very cool. They're yeah. very cool Exciting new yeah. adventure. Oh, um, once you're settled there, mm-hmm. if you want to come back and tell people all about oh, it. Oh, yeah. Please do. You're always yeah. welcome back. And, oh, you know, thank you. If you just want to come back. Yeah. <laughs> they'll, they'll, yes. they'll say, <laughs> I will require someone to be digging some holes in the parking lot. Yeah. I can so make I be that breaking happen. up the road. Yeah. Natasha's coming. We gotta make her feel at home. I'm in Victoria like every three months. I'll just show up and be like, Natasha, please. They're, they're destroying the bridge to Richmond. Yeah. Be like, 
Oh, now I, now I feel at home. Okay. <laughs> You're my work ride or die. Don't go. Yeah. <laughs> this is um, Trash Princess forever. <laughs> but uh, what are you looking forward to at the new location the most? Um, I'm looking forward to everybody being in the same building. Ah. Yes. yes. Right now we're split up between a bunch of different buildings and like it's it, it shouldn't be a big deal, but it becomes very frustrating and like it's just very hard to communicate sometimes because people are off doing something else and you're like, I just need an answer really quick, you know, and it's so much easier to have a conversation for, in fi for five minutes in front of somebody. And I'm very excited to be in the same building because I think it's going to make a, a really great difference to like collaboration. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I'm just super excited about that and plus, you know, not having a building trying to kill us. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's awesome. I mean, I'll miss it a little bit, but that's fair. <laughs> I'm not. Um, okay, so we are going to be rotating people out. Uh, before you leave, uh, I do want to say thank you so much for the last three years. Yeah. And we wish you nothing but the best. It's going to be impossible to replace you, so we, we're not even going to try and oh. look for a new Natasha. I raise my glass to yeah. both of you. Indeed. Thank this you. This place truly wouldn't function without them. So. Yes. <laughs> thank, thank you guys you. so much. <laughs> and thank you for being yeah. on the show. Oh. Thank um, you. And yeah, you can applaud yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. hey. Okay, um, oh. so thank you guys. I know it goes yeah. by way too quick. It does. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thank okay. you. I'll so. let Lala tell the ghost stories. I'll save mine for you. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Um, Matt, do you have a do you have a favorite agitator? Your favorite story? moments here? Um, not offhand. I mean, I do, but I'll save them for later because Rue has asked to hear about North Stage Otters. North Stage Otters. Oh, the North Stage Otters. Yeah. Were, yeah, were you was, in the room I, for that at all? Yeah, or? I was. I oh, was, okay. was when we were filming Space Parents. Um, and we were in there, and uh, Bev was our uh, scripty for the day. And she was sitting by the, the outside wall, the wall that actually faces the water. And she's sitting there, and she's doing the scripty thing, and we're getting ready to go. And she just looks down, and she's like, she's right next to her, just these otter heads start poking through the walls in the North Stage. And she's like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, I think there's otters here. <laughs> now, then, now is that that's a that's a spot where we actually have a hole in the wall for we cables do, for to get cables through, right? to come yeah. through. But yeah. the hole's like, like that big. Roughly. I mean, otters are only that big. And, yeah, it's also filled with cables that are like that's true. That's like that. So it was like you know, but they had kind of broken part of it and come through. Oh. But the problem is that wall is actually quite hollow. And I, I immediately went, what do you mean? I ran and I like stuck my head up against the hole and watched them as they ran down the inside of the wall. Oh. And I was like. I am never getting them out of there. That's <laughs> just, just fuck. Like, damn it. Because you just know, like, there was a day we came into the South Stage, and I remember walking in in the morning, and it was horrendous smelling in here. And it was the otters. They oh, had yes. made a nest. It was terrible. So when I heard that they were, when I found them in the walls, I was so afraid of, like, we have to film in here. This is, like, our biggest filming space, yep. and now it's going to reek of dead fish that I'm never going to get out. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. they bring it up out of the water oh. and eat it. Oh. I watched an otter eat a live crab once. That was interesting. Um, uh, okay, yeah, come, come on up. Yeah, we've got uh, uh, next people joining us. We have, uh, it's been a while since uh, has been on the show, actually. But first Julie last, baby. Yeah. Sorry, what? Other, other, oh, other first seats. one, and this is the very last one, so. Hey, other is that the only Julian. times you've been on here? Switch seats. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like, like <laughs> switch seats, switch seats. Uh, 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 no, you've been on since. This is the first one. Really? No way. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> well, epic fail. All right. Yeah. <laughs> that can't be right. Okay, but joining us we have Lala McQueen and yeah. Julian Leclerc. Oh. Um, wow. No way. Yeah, First I know, right? That doesn't sound right. That, that can't be right. I'm I swear you've been on since. That doesn't sound no, right. I'm, I'm not going to check right now. I mean, hey, Matt, <laughs> can you check? Can you just go through videos and just... It's, it's on, on IMDb. IMDb. Oh, there you go. Wait, we're on IMDb? <laughs> <laughs> yes, thanks to Capri. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Capri did a lot of work to make that happen. <laughs> I am aware of that, I promise. I pay attention. But uh, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you for having back. <laughs> it's a bit of a chaotic episode, but yeah, that's okay. having fun up here. Oh, that's How are okay. you guys doing? Mm -hmm. Doing good? good? Super good. Good. Super good. Nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, to kick it off, do you have any favorite Agitan stories you guys want to talk about? I think Lala does. Oh, well, I heard you guys talk about the otters. Mm. The geese. Raccoons. The right. raccoons falling from the sky, mm. all the whatnot, but... Okay, so we haven't really addressed like the hauntings here. Ah! Which I feel is important. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, before, before you go into it, I'm mm. just going to ask a question. 
And did you experience any hauntings when we first got here, or did they develop over time? They developed over time. Oh, okay. With certain <laughs> events. Yeah. Ah. And um, people. So, yeah, that happened. Our effects shop is famous for it. Really? <laughs> yes. Things fall over, doors close, doors open. Oh. All the time. Really? I've been for a long time. I don't know if anybody knows this, but I actually <laughs> slept here one night. No, nobody didn't I know that. Didn't yeah, know slept that. here. Alleg Sorry about that. <laughs> allegedly. 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 I allegedly, I slept, I allegedly here. slept here one night. I mean, night. I would like to think that you know. Why? Because uh, I was like finishing some work and I was really tired, so I pulled the couch into. You were not the only one. Makeup room, and I, I like went to snooze. Oh. So some things happened. Oh. Like, are, are you? Willing to share? I am so curious. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Okay, so just like got my laptop, you know, laid down. I was like, okay, I've got like a 7.30 call, so I'm just going to snooze. Everything's going to be fine. And then um, the door opened by itself at 1 a.m. Sure. Which, and woke me up. Door? The door to the makeup room. Okay. Between the green room and the makeup room. Yep. It just swung open. Mm -hmm. Not cool. Weird. Yeah, it's creepy. It's okay, weird. and then one of the mannequins at 3 a.m. in the back room in the effects shop fell over by itself. It's like 50 pounds. Good times. That's really <laughs> creepy. This shit happens all the time. <laughs> did the door open in like classic like <laughs> kind of thing, or did it like <laughs> woof? I mean, I good. just woke up, so it was just oh, like, okay. you know. I, I know I shut it. I know I did. <laughs> Both creepy, but I yeah. think the faster one would be absolutely terrifying. Yeah. The thump in the effect shop was very terrifying at I 3 a.m. Yeah. Not Ew. cool. It had to be Al. He's just uh, saying hi. I know it's Al. Oh, good old Al. I talk to him all the time. Yeah. Oh. Right, here's a thought. <laughs> if you have a 50-pound mannequin on top of a tiny stand, in your shop, which has floors that I'm sure are like this, um, <laughs> over, over time, gravity is just getting, you know. Maybe. Yeah, well, it is weirdly con That's true because when you have something positioned for a year and a half, there's yeah. no way it's going to change position. <laughs> the floor can shift. So well thought. <laughs> it, is, it, it was is just a thought. It was just bring a thought. science That's to valid. it. Here we You're go. Valid. It is from I love the timing, it. though. It yeah. is. A couple years ago, on literally on, I think, about New Year's Eve, I got a phone call while I was in Barbados oh. and Al had died. And Al was the previous uh, caretaker, caretaker of the space. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Let's call him a quirky old man. He was, he was quirky. He was, he was awesome. I had some great conversations with him, but he, he was a, a quirky old man. So it's Al. Just saying hello, though. He's just, he's just visiting, checking in on things. Yeah. That's fair. Do you All right, Julian. What do you yeah, got? Yeah, uh, you got? I mean, I feel like I was, I had a pretty good. My shop never really leaked. It like flooded from underneath the wall a tiny bit, but nothing ever got wrecked. I think. I mean, other than the otters, like they, their home was in the power room, which was right next to my shop, so it smelled the worst in my shop. Uh, and then the, the whole like goose juice thing, I was one of the few people who was bailing buckets for hours until we discovered the next day that there was a dead goose above that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, those, that's really about it yeah. though. I mean, I think. It wasn't even a day, that went on for a while. Like I was like, yeah. there was days. one really horrible day really where I was day. absolutely yeah. soaked. Yeah, yeah, I got real wet. And then <laughs> I felt real gross the next day, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh god. A little itchy. But no, I've been pretty lucky. I've been my shop stayed it's in it's in, in this building especially. It's got this tiny little corner of sanctity from <laughs> the elements. <laughs> where it, where but also like I feel like we're missing the whole point because this place is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's funky. Dude, no. We're <laughs> right by the ocean. Yeah. We're private. We've done anything we fucking want, yep. which is amazing. Yep. Yeah, that's true. true. We've no, got I mean, all the light, all the air, all the property. Outside it's of the fact that the building here. is literally falling apart. Uh, okay, a small sacrifice. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> it, 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 you know, it is a really cool location. <laughs> There, Speaking I mean, of, uh, <laughs> Roz has apparently forgotten that she's not hosting tonight and <laughs> is uh, prompting Lala to uh, please tell us about the cake wall. Oh. The what? Uh, the cake, cake wall. wall in they, makeup. They come with the wall back in the, uh, in, in the back corner, the cake, wall that, that wall. the water came through. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you were talking about something else. I got really worried. Okay. Wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so, like that's for another day. Oh yeah. Okay. So when I run foam in the effects shop, 
sometimes when it's almost like kicked, I like to like huck it up onto the wall. And I've always liked to do that. I mean. It's like a little competition yeah. of how high can you get it? That's, yeah, that's fine. Um, <laughs> Probably reinforcing it, honestly. <laughs> it's, kept, it's kept things together, sir. Yeah. yeah. Oh. But like, yeah, um, it was raining in our effects shop one day. Uh, literally, and so now we have buckets that I've placed under where it rains, and the wall water needs to be emptied daily when it rains. Which I got on me, and Sarah kind of made fun of me because I screamed in horror. She was like, How did you ever change your kids' diapers? And I don't think it's the same thing, it's wall water, <laughs> fuck. So. I suppose after goose juice, goose anything juice, that comes through the yeah, walls is a bit... You should have you your be, I don't know what's in that wall. Yeah, that's, that's I don't know how old that wall is. That's not the same thing as coming out of human, so... Yeah. It's all good. Um, so, uh, th what was going to be tomorrow, but is now uh, a week from now, uh, we will finally be releasing our first vignette with the live-action reenactments for Ready to Roll, uh, which... The live action reenactments couldn't have been possible with the two people who are seated with us right now. So I'm wondering what Without you guys are, if, what are you feeling going into the release of that? Are you super excited? Has it been too long? I don't know. <laughs> it's been a while. I mean, yeah, a bit of both, I think. Uh, it definitely, it's definitely been a while, um, but no, it was definitely a lot of fun and it's exciting that it's finally being seen. I mean, I guess, as a builder in, in the film world, you get really used to just like making tons of really great things that never see the light of day. So it's mm -hmm. kind of like the fact that it hasn't come out hasn't really affected me that much because I've made tons of things that have never been on screen that you spent months and hours and, mm. and uh, stuff making. So I think that's kind of just built into you as not really caring too much. You kind of just got to accept that. Here's a that. question. What was, the, what was your favorite thing that you built here so far? Oh. Uh, someone just asked me the other day and it took me a while to figure it out, I think like as a team, the props team, one of the coolest things I think we built um, was, which never made it to, never made it to camera either, um, was the Zups uh, automatic book stand. Oh yeah. <clears throat> um, so that one was really cool. Jordan spent like a week and a half making that, and I think we did a little bit of refining to cut the weight down by about half because it definitely weighs like 35 pounds. Um, but yeah, having this massive book that Jesse would have had to hold, so making like a mechanical thing that flips out and holds the book upright for it. For them would have been really cool and turned out really cool. And then we'll find another use for it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, and then I think the maps, uh, uh, the maps that we made were one of my favorite. Just like the leather, simple leather maps that were all hand tooled and dyed and stuff looked really cool. Yeah. Um, I think we're what I came up with yesterday, anyways, and I don't think I have much of a different answer today. So <laughs> that's fair. Lala, <laughs> what's your favorite thing so far? Uh, my favorite thing is Sarah Elizabeth. So you made Sarah that, that explains so much. <laughs> I would love to take credit for that, but that's actually the beautiful Tammy and Daryl. Um, yeah, she's just like the magistry behind everything and nice. creates beautiful things, fucking mammoth in the effects world and yeah, I'm just awesome. along for the ride. But what about cool. build that you like, you know, crafted here? Build. build that I got to build? Yeah. Um, I'm really proud of all the tattoos I designed and drew, oh, which yeah. have hidden meanings in it that you guys don't even really know about yet, which is really funny. Okay, those ones I've asked about for my fingers, you should tell me what they actually yeah, I know, meaning love. before I, I put those on. I really should. We need to have a meeting about that. <laughs> Wait, like, like, should, like, should I, I actually worry want to get when them? Seno does this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yours are made out of a real magical sigil from Oh, well, that's times. good to so know. So is this going to go all Macbeth? Is that why we're having hauntings? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you said the M word. I know, right? <laughs> Will Smith's gonna walk up and smack the back. Get yeah. that M word out of your fucking mouth. <laughs> Too soon. It's gonna be great. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, the it whole rest of the world not. really is. Like, yeah, this is, you know. Mm, 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 mm. But yeah. Uh, really proud of that. Uh, the wig work that I've done, even though I'm just a makeup artist. Huh? Uh, Hammer Lane. Oh, hell that yeah. That was fun. Um, we're about Emily, to see that. We are about to see that. That's, that's yeah. going to be in that first vignette, and damn, that was well done. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that looked really good. Okay. All right, we've been getting the color done, and it just looks, it looks I mean, so amazing. It's beautiful. I basically want to live in her office, so go offset that. Guy. That's fair. It is completely trashed at this yeah. point, but. <laughs> also, no roof. No roof. No roof. No roof. Hmm. I guess we'd be used to that by now. Though. Yeah, you don't so, want to live in there. You know, no yeah. so whatsoever. Bad. Oh, man. <laughs> um. Are there any things, skills, 
that you've learned or developed as a result of this place? Mm. Um, definitely. Uh, the top of my head, I mean, I, I hadn't done a lot of casting before, so like we did do, like honestly, a, a lot of the stuff already was all molded and casted, so that was definitely a skill that I had done once or twice previously, but not in the amount that we did, did here. Um, which I, kind of links into like one of my favorite, other favorite props, I guess, is your hammer, like uh, Rurik's hammer was one of the, one of my favorite ones, I think. Um, it was one of the worst to make because uh, <laughs> the, the head of it's so large that the box for it, so what essentially what we had to do was we have the mold and we have to, um, uh, oh God, what's the word, like rotocast it. So we want just a really thin layer around the whole outside that is our like rubbery um, surface and then we just want expanding foam on the inside. So you have to pour it in and then you have to like roll it around. But the box is about this big made of plywood with, a, with like probably a liter or two liters of silicone inside of it. And so me and Jordan oh. were moving this block around for probably 20 minutes and our arms were just burning as we're That's rotoing this thing until it finally kicked. And uh, I did it twice, three times? We did it three times um, and it definitely sucked. Oh yeah, for time, different but... different density hammers. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's the like the super <clears throat> dense heavy one. Because you wanted a heavy fucking hammer yeah. all the time. Well, because I didn't want it to look like I was like just like effortlessly carrying around something that looks like it should be super heavy. <laughs> Isn't that like acting? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, you, but like then I'm doing this all the time and like, yeah. no, I, I don't want to do it, that. It just happens. It's hard to remember all the time. It would look more natural if it has the weight faking it. And you can always tell that's not something people remember to do when they're acting. Yeah, yes. I, I remember uh, so bad at it. I think it was a season that I worked on but I was watching Van Helsing and the one character has this really large saw machine gun and they were just walking and like they were a, they were a big person like they were definitely large but they were holding it and it's like their their wrist was ri their wrist was limp as they're just walking with this gun swinging one arm and it's like the gun weighs 20 25 yeah. pounds and they're just <laughs> carrying it like they're, they're just like that and I was like no that's not how that happens yeah exactly yeah. So. I hate when people don't yeah. sell the weight of something properly and yeah. I didn't want to do that by accident I get that and uh. and then it's also the fact of like the 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 acting came from I needed to be conscious of trying to make it look like it didn't take the effort to move it around. Right. So right. I was training with a freaking 10 pound weight on a stick. Like so many people, somebody's like, oh, can I hold the hammer? And people are like, oh yeah, yeah sure. sure, here you go. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. can, because I'm Thor. <laughs> uh, my, other no. my other favorite part about that one in particular is we have, uh, still we have like stages from start to finish of that iteration. So we have the cardboard template that's all taped together and then we have the first wood mock-up that we used to make the actual, that we molded to make the thing. And then we have um, the first pour, which we did with uh, the wrong type of resin on the outside, so it was brittle. So when the expanding foam was squishy on the inside, so it just cracked. Mm. So you have that one. Then I decided to pour one out of just straight rubber. Um, so that weighs 12 pounds and is way too heavy. Um, and, then, <laughs> and then we have uh, your hero one, and then we have a stunt one as well. And then now that we have a welder, I'm pr hopefully probably one day just going to make a sheet metal one. Yeah. yeah. Just, to, just to have. Hell yeah. Um, at one point, so. That'd be awesome. <laughs> it's, it's cool to see when you can like just kind of display the start, like the evolution yeah, yeah. Of, a, of a prop start to finish, where most of the other ones are just, you know, there's no real evidence of the creation of it kind of thing, so. Nice. Um, so Lala, you've expressed that this place is awesome. So what do you think you're going to miss the most about this place? Our ceilings, the light, the skylights, the view, the windows, <laughs> our space. You're going to have windows the room. still. <laughs> <laughs> so when you say our ceilings, what do you mean? We have a, an amazing space right now. Yeah. We have the highest ceilings. We have skylights. It's so great. When anyone goes to, I don't know what you all do up there. <laughs> like when there's like these little like goblin like footprints <laughs> over our fucking heads in the morning. Cool and it's like, doo, 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 doo. and we're like, oh, Jesus Christ, what is that? That's awesome. It's really weird. I was going to say, we definitely, is that go, you? We definitely yeah. don't oh, yeah. go out there I, to smoke. It's my favorite place People to go, go out. People go out to smoke or, or whatever. Yeah. There's no judgment here. It's fine. <laughs> no, no judgment. But they're like, doo, 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 and everyone goes, oh. Yeah. So I, I really always weird. wonder about that. Yeah. 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 And we think people are looking in on us on the skylights, so we all freeze. I have a couple for times. For some reason, which is really weird. Definitely a couple times. I'm like, what have you seen? What's going on down there? You can't really you see know? shit from it's up It's hard no. to see through. The, the skylights are skylights, but they are just covered in yeah. crap. So yeah. it's kind of oh, hard to see. Oh, that's good. Through. Yeah. They yeah. don't want to know yeah. what is happening. In it's our like skylight. frosted glass. Like, uh, it is. If there are any cameras, like, 
we're out. I mean, the one nice thing about your new space is the windows aren't overlooking your boss's vehicle in which you can drop objects from your window onto their vehicle. Okay, okay, (laughs) my favorite thing about our space, thank you. Okay, there's two exits, which is dope. And then the other thing is that we have windows that open all along the place, and we've been able to drop things onto people that, like, cross under us on the ground. And a fan onto my car once. Oh, fuck, that was not me. (laughs) I was the first person that came up, but that wasn't me. I didn't do that. (laughs) If Randy told you that, that's wrong. So what Uh, are you looking forward to at the new place the most? Uh, I think the same as what I uh, kind of overheard Lauren saying. I think being in one space will be really nice. Um, just, yeah, having the ability to, like, I don't think, above, like, definitely in, in years previous, but since COVID, I don't think I've been upstairs more than a handful of times in the last year. Oh. Um, so just being able to see people, and like Lauren said as well, I'm definitely a person that would rather just come talk to you in person than send an email or mm. whatever. So just being able to, you know, have all those conversations and just being closer, that. I think, I mean, would be a lot nicer. I'm person, I like to say. Um, yeah. I do. Yeah, you're going to be on their floor. <laughs> Yeah. Funny is my office is actually on the first floor now. Uh, what? Yeah. Where are you going to be? I'm going to be down in like the editing area. Down Kitty corner to you, like Kitty opposite corner. corner. Yeah, you're in the farthest corner from me. <laughs> I, do, I, <laughs> I do think the inter- Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> the interesting part, I think, will be there is, other than the front, front office, there is a very, like for all of the build department stuff, there is a very weird... Uh, pass through uh, as far as how you can get from place to place. Mm. Um, it's not like there's just a hallway with a door off to the left or right, right? So oh, yeah, no. getting from like makeup especially, I think they have kind of one of the weirdest routes to get into your shop from the other place. Yeah, once so you that- go past doggy yeah. daycare, through the gym, and then you're into the makeup area. Yeah, come through the gym, you'll get to effects and makeup. I yeah. guess, is there a hallway though, or is there, are they passing yeah. through the gym? No, I, I don't know. You have yeah, to yeah. go into the gym, and yeah. then once you can, you can come out of the gym, or you can go through the gear room, like through the stage, gear yeah. room, and then into make, actually you don't need to go through the gear room. You can go right, right from the stage. stage. You cannot go the... through the stage, you must finish a workout, yeah. <laughs> complete a map, and then you may come in to make up a fact. But uh, that's good, because we're not going to have to walk up four flights of stairs anymore, and that is that. all of my exercise. Oh. <laughs> well then, that's why we require the workout in the gym yeah. before yeah. you enter. Yeah. So. I was going to build exterior staircases and the new, the new one that just go oh up God. to come back down to go to the second Here floor. Just on. pointless staircases that go up just and down. Pointless. Just MC Escher on the yeah. outside of the building. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck with people? Yeah. And just like pa- paintings of David Bowie with a big cock yeah. piece. <laughs> just <laughs> oh, no. The Goblin King. That is ours. Yeah. <laughs> we are in the Goblin Dungeon. As soon as you enter the song, start that. playing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, we uh, do have one last pair of guests to get up here. That's fair. Yeah. And uh, the time has gone very quickly. I'm sorry. And Thank you guys so much. If this Thanks actually has everything. been 79 episodes since you've been on, I apologize. I mean, I feel like I'll do the first one at the new studio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll, we'll see what wait. happens yeah. after that. Years later, we'll love you back again. It'll be great. <laughs> oh, it'll be great. But thank you guys so yes. much for everything. Thank, thank you. And uh, cheers. Yeah, again. Cheers. I am mm. almost out of beer. I think I have enough to cheers the next people. But <laughs> that's that's some bullshit. It's okay. We can have beer brought in. Uh, okay. Thank you guys. See you in a couple of years. Um, See in a couple of years. So Matt, as mm. uh, uh, not just as man, okay, you've been our, our D and D coach from the get. Like you were our, our very first exposure to D and D when we first started <laughs> making this thing, and then became a player. Your co-creator of the world it takes place in, and editor. And so many things. I mean, first of all, Jesus Christ, thank you so much. Um, also, could you step it up a little bit? <laughs> yeah, we okay. think you're under. No, uh, <laughs> you know, I worry about that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what are What are you most excited about for the the release of the vignettes of Ready to Roll? Um, just seeing it come to fruition after so much years. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's just so exciting that it's almost out there. Um, we've spent so much time on 105. Yeah. Um, and it's a very exciting vignette. It's one of our longest, if not the longest, single 
scene, right? Like, uh, we've no, got episodes it, that have more. Yeah. But like that oh, the is, single scene? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess so. It's probably the second longest that we have, I would yeah. say. The the only other being No, no, the technically the, single sequence. Oh, Sorry. I see. Single what you're sequence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is it is technically a single sequence. So I guess you're yeah. right. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Damn. That's crazy. I didn't think about that. Hi, Hello. you guys just came on up. Before I like it. Before we go on, sorry, I'm yeah, yeah. you guys off. I have <laughs> two more things that I was reminded of in the chat that I forgot about, but are the things that now that I remember, I want to talk about. Uh, first, <laughs> one of the worst days here was the active shooter that oh, I yeah, I forgot gone about from that. my memory. Holy shit, I forgot about that too. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, Naked guy. Naked guy. That was a different thing. Different guy. <laughs> Yeah. Different kind of shooter. Naked active shooter should be a whole other problem. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a day. And uh, <laughs> uh, the other one is um, the first day of filming, ready to roll, got my Senna wig on. Well, I didn't have it on yet. We were doing my makeup. It was like Ruby's first day is like day call here. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we lit Senna's wig on fire. <laughs> What? Oh no! <laughs> I never heard that. That's crazy. Yeah, we didn't what? tell a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that real quiet. That's what gave it its flair. How did you slide? What? How did? The, what? Was Ruby just bugging out? Yeah. Like, what the fuck have I done? Yeah, it was a bit of a panic. I don't know. There That's was great. something either hot or can or something. It just got close to something else, and it just singed like the outside. So we were able to just like clip it without it being noticeable. Oh. Um, <laughs> But she was like, I'm gonna be fired. <laughs> like, no, no, it's our secret. Yeah. Okay. Oh it comes God. out now, years later. Uh, okay, so joining us on stage, you saw them come up here. Uh, we have the returning Nicholas Kedrock and Casey Gemma. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, people who've been here from very early on as well. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's true. Um, yeah. So, kicking it off, do you guys have any. Any like what's your your favorite stories? Preeminent Agitan stories, if you oh. have any. I mean, they're like I mean, like everyone else, they probably have to do with the construction of this place. Yeah. And when you when you just up. you just assume yeah. that things are a certain way, <laughs> and then you find out that they're not that way. <laughs> and you're, yeah. you're like, oh, this thing that I walk on every day has some sort of support. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! And then it's like, wait, no, this is just like a concrete lip, and there's nothing holding. <laughs> This oh, or the building right. together. You oh, know? Right. Like, okay, so there was a day where we were out back behind the gear room, and <laughs> Keddy went out onto this little like Concrete outcropping ledge. thing, right? Yeah. And there was this beam that he because he was standing on, and then all of a sudden the beam started to go. Oh yeah, it's and then, super sketchy. And there was a sketchy railing that Teddy like grabbed and pulled himself off of it just in time, and then the thing went down, and it was like a six by six beam, like heavy <laughs> video <duty>. game. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, very much like a yeah. video game. It was like you felt it rattling, and it's like you have three seconds to jump off. <laughs> push square, yeah, push square. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. But I was like, you grab that railing. That in no way Even would I railing, trust. No, oh, dude, I would not, not trust that. Yeah. Like I thought the railing was gonna. I thought you were just. Gonna, I thought the story was gonna be, and he took the railing with him because yeah. that was just. It's like, like when you're like you see someone climbing a thing and they go to grab the yeah, roots and the like, roots just come out. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. And then, wow, I didn't know that happened. And we were like, we should maybe, uh, maybe we should tie that off so that it doesn't get taken away by the tide. And then we all forgot. We got busy, and then the next morning it, it was gone. gone. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, back to the ocean from whence it came. <laughs> you know, okay, at the end of this, I'll tell the story of how this place was built, and uh, and, 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 we, sure. and, and it might clarify but some like, of that for you. Whole, there's a whole outhouse on that ledge. What? What? That, that house with all the pumps in it and stuff? <laughs> oh. That's on the concrete ledge. That oh, it's oh, yeah, not, not an outhouse. outhouse. It's not yeah. an outhouse, not an outhouse. It's like, uh, <laughs> yeah. out where our water comes it from. It's, yeah. so. Whatever it is, I don't know. And that, and that building is then connected. Oh, yeah, 100%. To the yeah. It's all. That foundation it's is all rumbling. Yeah. 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 It's oh, yeah, real bad. I mean, hopes and dreams of what holds this place together. <laughs> <laughs> hopes and dreams. And probably a lot of duct tape. A little goose juice here in there. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it dries stuff. when it hardens. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It hardens when it dries, rather. Well, cool. uh, there's a half second pause here, so I'm going to interrupt. Nice. And uh, we have a redemption for Highlight My Message from Sky Daddy, <laughs> who wants us to talk about. 
the moth apocalypse. We also have a highlighted message from it's Julian a, that says message just, deleted. Yeah, so. he's just being a dick. <laughs> uh, but yes, <laughs> moth apocalypse. I have no idea moth what this is. Does but no one remember moth apocalypse? Remember that? Okay, I, remember I remember moth apocalypse. Really, when we had yes. just like, uh, it's a thing that happens specifically yes. in North Vancouver. It's a certain type of small brown moth. Uh, yep. that they hatch in cycles, yeah. and there were thousands of oh, them. It was, yeah, it was right. crazy. You go to the gas insane. station around the corner, and it was covered in them. Uh, yeah, that was nuts. Yeah. I'd never seen They were in yeah. everything. Yeah. everything. They yeah. were in everything. I, that was wild. I went rock climbing in uh, Lynn Valley at this place called Sully's Hangout, and the hike in, they were like on everything, and there was like just oh, yeah. clouds of them. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah it was, it was cool. Just, I got a cool video of them, actually. Yeah, you'd walk up to certain walls and just like tap the wall. They were just like, <laughs> yeah, and just shoot off. You're like, oh, yeah. okay. It was wild. Yeah. It was. Uh, I don't do well with bugs, so that was, that was rough for me. It was a rough yeah, time. Yeah, I hate bugs, especially bugs fluttery bugs. Yeah, bugs. Because they're erratic. Unless they're centipedes. Yeah. I don't like things that scuttle. Nope. Can't do centipedes or millipedes. That's the thing for me. That's where I draw the line. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. I'm fine with bugs. Centipedes and millipedes. Oh. Yeah. Just kill them. Centipedes, I don't like them because they're poisonous. are super disgusting. Earwigs, really? True. I don't know that you see them out here, but like, yeah, oh, you do. everywhere in Toronto. Yeah, a couple of they're big, big giant pinthus on the butts. Yeah. 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 I just don't like that they're called earwigs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right? What like, a horrible <laughs> name for a bug. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure why they're named that because it's not like they actually actively I think, go for ears or. But I think that's, like the, that. that's the myth, right? Yeah. The, the idea is that you sleep, they'll go in your ears. Yeah, which they don't. So why is it? They're still horrifying. their name. That's got to come from something. Somewhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next interruption. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I like spicy Matt. Yeah. Uh, I do too. We have another highlight my message from okay. Nambi Pambi who would like to know, Ketty, why were you on the wooden beam? Who is yeah. <laughs> Nambi Pambi, if you don't know who that is. Tell yeah. the truth now. I was peeing. It yeah. was, it was, it's, the, it's the farthest point out where if you pee outward. You can't see your business unless they come up. Or they're on the other side except, of the water. Except, water. except for the oh, shipyard. The shipyard is right entire hundred meters away. Crew on the shipyard, other side of the water. The shipyard has seen my penis so many times. Every time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're across the water. They're right there. They're is right there. Just so we clarify. advertise that publicly. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just so we clarify, across the water is like, what would you say, like 100, 100 yards? Feet? Something like yeah, that. Yeah. 100 feet? Like it's yards, not yeah. that far. 100 yards. 100, 100 feet. OK, but it's yeah, not that know. far. Like 300 feet. Yeah, it's yeah, not that far. Somewhere it. in between 100 and 300 feet. <laughs> I don't yeah. think they can It's not a long distance. Yeah. Well, where they can see it, but. <laughs> Dear God. Dear God. They pee, we pee, we pee together. What? <laughs> 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 What do you mean? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, good night, everybody. Wow. Uh, <laughs> That's our show. No. Everybody's got to go. Um, okay. <laughs> so, that's, what are you looking forward to? I can't even roll it together. <laughs> what are you looking forward to in the new location? Oh my um, god. I mean, not the threat of something falling and killing you. Like, that's yeah. probably, you know. That'd be nice, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Just, yeah. Um, I mean, that's always there. I hate yeah. true. I guess that, that is true. Did you hear about that satellite that was coming down recently and was supposed to come down, like, somewhere in our, mm -hmm. like, vicinity? I don't worry about it at all. Up. Yeah. Sounds that's horrible. awful. Oh, it was, it was crazy. There was, there was a woman <laughs> in B.C. who had a, uh, oh, yeah, a, a, yeah, a meteor meteorite. fall and yeah. hit her, like, like, the other side of her bed. Yeah, her dog, like, Jesus. Alarmed her to wake up, and yeah. she just dodged it. Yeah, like it almost took her out. Yeah, and it's huge, and she gets to keep it. And apparently, it's worth yeah. like probably worth like eight hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, right, I feel right, like million if million it almost kills numbers. you, then you get to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, get you get to, to keep yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They're like yeah. analyzing it, but now. it's technically her property. <laughs> yeah, but you get like, to keep your leg if you get an amputated leg. I mean, I would argue for it. I'm just thinking about things you get to keep. Do you get to keep yeah. your leg? <laughs> and that's the top of your list. Things you get to keep with Nicholas. Do you think you get to keep your leg and they cut it off? Uh, I would. I would say, give I me my fucking leg. My I fucking think. Leg, leg, but right? I think that depends yeah. on what happened to it. I believe you Probably. do get bodily autonomy, and if they remove your leg, I'm pretty sure you can ask for it. Yeah. I just want the well, bone, like, really. If it's, yeah. if it's necrotic, if it's fucking digit, like they just they dispose of that shit. You don't like True. take home a. Which is like a virus. A biohazard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's still. Like, but it's still my leg. I want my goddamn yeah. leg. Is it? Once yeah. it's off your body. No. I'm fairly certain there are many health regulations against that. Yeah. Because it is biohazard waste. It yeah. Needs, but is there any difference between that and like a, a leg I bring home from the grocery store? Wait. 
Yes, Wait. it's human, and thus can actually spread Wait. disease that is not oh, spread okay. by. That makes that's, sense. that's true. That makes it's sense. True. That makes sense. You I mean, mean all, like chicken leg, right? We're all meat. Where are you shopping? We're all meat. <laughs> There are butchers. You I, get you know what? I don't get legs, but new space. I'm looking forward to having everybody under the same roof. That's yeah. Wow, that's cool. like the answer here. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, just being able to, you know, find people quickly and yep. yeah. not going, oh, they're way over there. And we're the it's center of the great. donut now. We're surrounded by like everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the room is like right in the middle. You know, the center of the, of the donut is a hole. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It depends yeah, on the room. It's the whole donut. Yeah, it's cream filling. Yeah, 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 the cream yeah. filling. Yeah. We're, we're the cream in the filling. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. That's an image. Yeah, wow. You're so you're talking about how much the people across the way have seen your penis and they're calling yourself the cream. This is. Wow. <laughs> Nicholas Kedrock, everybody. This is our uh, cinematographer. Uh, um, uh, paints beautiful images. God. Uh, <laughs> you said you wanted to tell the story about how this place was built. Yeah. Uh, so, funny, yeah. in all the discussions of this yeah. place falling down around our heads, you have to understand how this place was built. This building, uh, well, not the one we're in right now, but our main building, the North yeah. Stage, as we call it, uh, originally existed, how far would you say Lonsdale's from here? Probably like... 10 kilometers that way? Yeah, sure. Right? Right? Roughly. Right. 10 yeah. kilometers west of us down the yeah, water yeah. Was, uh, was where it used to be, and that building was down there. And they used to, um, I think, erect bridges in, inside of it. Um, something like that. They yeah. erected something. They, they definitely did that. And it was actually called the Erection Palace. Yeah. <laughs> and they had a big neon sign. That no, said, the Boner Palace. No, 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 no. no. It's called the Erection Palace. That comes Palace. later. But there, it That's was the called the Erection thing. Palace. It was actually called that. That yeah. was the sign they had How up. How dare I? And, uh, and they, the guy <laughs> who, who put this place together, <laughs> he, uh, who I won't name, just because there's a lot of things to follow here that, that are definitely illegal. Uh, but he had it taken down and floated along the water yeah. and to pull it out here and, and to erect the building once again here uh, at what is now a filthy lot. When he did so, uh, he did it alone. It's when anybody who knows construction in any way, shape, or form, they, they, the, this place has actually got huge beams that, that hold it up, like these massive wood beams. he had beams. one cohort. No, nope, he had himself, and a, he had a cohort who brought the crane yeah. over. He used a him. pulley system to yeah. control the control forklift. The crane. He, had, right. he had ropes tied to the Which crane is controls. Cool. He, okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean for Mr. Still, Bean, yeah. Standing. <laughs> you know, we've seen the episode guy. of Mr. Bean where he's on the chair on top of the car, <laughs> yeah. and he's like... <laughs> it's still you know, impressive, though. Doing one of yeah. these things, and he's, he's also trying to guide the beam down as he's, like, pulling the levers of this crane and just, like... Moving his foot, there we go. That looks good to me. Looks yeah. good. I yeah. mean, he got it done. That's pretty baller. Hey, that's pr he that's did get I it done. don't think I can put together a and building. It has I can't put together standing. IKEA furniture. <laughs> <laughs> this man put together a building alone. Like, that's it's pretty impressive. Cool. It's yeah, impressive. No. That's pretty yeah. cool. I mean, and I think he had people come in and pour the concrete after and all that other stuff. <laughs> yeah. But literally, this place was built with hopes and dreams. Like, it was a hopeful venture that yeah. this was going to work. Yeah. And it, it sort of did, and it's lasted 20-something years. It was a porn studio, then it became an actual rental oh, studio. Oh, I know that I, um... Dan, there was a perfect segue in there for, uh, uh, and it kept our hopes and dreams alive, and then you went to porn, but <laughs> you were saying... Oh, I mean, very, <laughs> very embarrassingly. I want, it's so embarrassing, I'm not even going to say the country, but I just learned a country that I... Was in a place that I thought it was in a completely different place. Like you're I'm, looking at this wall. This used to be. A giant oh, we're looking map. like yeah, what is it? What is this? This used to be a giant map. There's a giant map of the world back. Yeah, here. it's yeah. still back there. Okay, it's still there. It's still back there. We oh, didn't paint it or anything. It's still behind. It's behind the set. Oh, yeah. well, I learned some geography stuff from that. I'm an American, so we don't know geography. <laughs> so it's fine. It was like <laughs> that's where that, that is. Like this I was is like the shape of the world. I was thousands of miles off of this one country. That was. It's embarrassing. So I'm say it loud. But I will say, after 25 years of this building being up, it. And, and being put up, let's just call it haphazardly. Mr. Bean uh, style. Mr. Bean style. It has lasted a pretty good long time. It is falling apart, quite literally falling apart. But that's a good long life for a building. I think one of my favorite stories that I, I just want to make sure I get in there is, uh, so there, there's, I mentioned the facade from this building, but our north stage also had, has facade on it and had more of a facade on it. And then there was a windstorm. And uh, oh, there was yeah. this oh, yeah. section of wall that was like the fake corner of a building, <laughs> and the wind was really making that thing flappy, let's say. A three-story wall turned 
flappy. Yeah, that was pretty uh, horrifying. <laughs> I remember seeing that from the window and be like, that's not right. Do something about it was, this. It was scary. Yeah. I, I would actually say windstorms have been one of the things that have done the most damage yeah. to this place. The has anyone has mentioned the yeah. welded scissor lift that is our elevator? Oh, right. <laughs> no. The, the no wheeled. We haven't because yeah. it's very illegal. Welded up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, and th- that also ties to the hauntings because it says no no human passengers, and it works most of the time. Sometimes it goes out, yeah. but as soon as a dude went in at one time, it stopped it's working. Broke. It's done. <laughs> Which Seriously? implies oh, yeah. hauntings to me. Literally the very first yeah. time got into it, it stopped halfway. Yeah. And it was like, that's it, you're yeah. in this The only time, now. in three years we've been here, the only time a person tried to ride that thing, it stopped dead. Ooh, that's, that's some Riverview shit. And that's go find some, some ladders Ooh, shit to get a Oh, I don't like that. Oh, Riverview. Yeah. Oh, Riverview is definitely haunted. Oh, oh yeah, 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 100% that place oh, yeah. is haunted. For those, I, I could spend a whole hour telling Riverview oh, stories. Oh, my God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> for those who don't know, uh, Riverview is a local uh, mental asylum that... Uh, abandoned. Abandoned. It's no, it's, it's, it's back, it's in, back in use. Yeah. Uh, but there's oh, certain really? parts of it yeah. that, there's an active wing still, that yeah. are like really old. Like are they still shooting stuff there? Yeah, they still shoot stuff there. Yep. While there are patients there? Well, they've built a whole new section of it. It's a different wing. The original old building is still... Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't yeah. use the old building for. So a patient a looking out the window and seeing some of the stuff no. they filmed there would be so bad. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it'd be awful. That would be horrible. Yeah. But uh, but it's very haunted. Oh. And the oh, yeah. 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 do the same goddamn thing. There's no humans of... are allowed to ride them, just gear. Yeah. yeah. And the and the doors will stay open forever. And as soon as the humans on them, they're like try they try. Yeah, to you don't want to be. They, so yeah. Scary. Yeah. yeah. No, I, whole place I, is... I, Yes. I almost I, got trapped in there and I was I like, did. no! <laughs> I filled out an L and D rather than go to the basement. I got trapped there with yeah. a PA well, because the tunnels I was there the year before they said no humans bad. in the elevator. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I got that place. And we got oh, no. trapped in there for an hour. Found a secret Ooh. room. And it was frightening one. because yeah. there was no cell service and the phone inside the elevator doesn't work. Yeah, we oh, found that's a, horrible. It was a truly horrifying. creepy story. We found, I was filming up there, we found a, a, a secret room because we were on the outside shooting the exterior and uh, we're looking and all the lights are off. We've shut all the lights off and then a light turned on. And we, you know, yep. if you're radioing, oh, guys, who turned on that light? What's going on? Yeah. Like, you know, nobody get that did. light. No, 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 the, the one right next to this room, and nobody could find it. Yeah. And it was because it was actually a hidden room in between rooms that we yeah. had to break a hole in the wall to get in and shut the light off. But yeah. I don't know who turned it on or how. I don't like it. No, it place. just comes on. <laughs> just There's on. lights that just come like, on there. What? I yeah. don't like it. Like, happy place, happy yeah. place. That Anyone place that works in Van- Vancouver has probably filmed there and has a story. I oh think. yeah. Oh. Wonderful. We have another interruption. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. This is for Ketty once again. <laughs> Rue would did. like to highlight her message because, like I said, she thinks she's still hosting, and um, <laughs> she says, "What country?" <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> what now you're fucked. <laughs> did you not know the uh, location of? It was the location. You know what? Now we don't need to get into this. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, it's going to be embarrassing, isn't it? This is going to be our final thought. It's, no, it's, it's embarrassing. Is what it? Country? What was it? What country did you not Own know where it, it was? As long as, as it side. wasn't Canada. Listen, yeah, I'm American, all right? <laughs> we don't get t- We just, America's the center, and that's all we, all we know. Yeah. It's, I thought... Like, There's a bunch oh. of little backwards countries <laughs> okay, all I'm around the world. Like, you know I'm literally never going to live it down. I'll ease you in. <laughs> you got, it, so growing up in Vancouver, as a little kid, mind you, this was a little kid, uh, I thought... Like I got, I saw images of the Taj Mahal, and there's the Sikh temple on Boundary, and I thought <laughs> oh, that boy. was the Taj Mahal. <laughs> That's a little kid thing, though. This is like yeah. a late twenties man when I found this out. <laughs> yeah, like, I know. I'm gonna throw Roz under the bus here and say when she was in her twenties, she discovered that giraffes aren't the size of a horse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she was at a zoo and was like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> I, I knew Amazing. That one. Okay, I we love you, Roz. I won't say where I thought it was, but I didn't know that New Zealand is where it is. Oh, that's oh, no. Okay, that's, you know what? No, but that's fine. That's a. Uh, uh, is that a fucking thing? Is that's that a Mandela a... effect. Wait, so, what? So, yeah, I was so sure, so dude. The, the Berenstein Bears thing, like Berenstein, yeah, 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 Berenstein yeah, yeah, yeah. and then like the uh, Mandela, uh, his whole yes. So death all of those all different things. One of them is. There's a whole bunch of people who swear that New Zealand is here, not here. Yeah. Yeah. It was, what? I, it was forever. It was uh, above Australia. Yes. Forever. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or, no. or 
It, or never. No, no, no. Or, or, <laughs> or. That's exactly where it has been for a yeah, million never, years. But, but. <laughs> or there's maps that are misprinted and misrepresented uh, for the patient. That's more likely. And more that's likely. more likely. A bad education system in America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we know that I'm there's maps. I will say, though, that's not the worst. If it was something like. Uh, you know, I, I didn't know where Russia was, mm -hmm. or yeah. or, no. or Australia, or one of those ones that everybody. But again, I, I'm, I'm a child. I'm, I'm a victim <laughs> of, of American yeah. maps. Even like yeah. half the countries I thought were much smaller or larger than they really are. Yeah, that is oh, an American yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. an American thing. Yeah, they, yeah. they skew the maps so that. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah um, it's actually just math because you can't map a round object yeah. to a flat place. Everyone's like, oh, blah blah blah, and it's like, no, it's math. It's just the way you have to show it. Yeah. Uh, there are all sorts of different ways, but none of them show relationships as clearly because they're either split up. Yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Skewed. yeah. You have to skew it because it's it's a round. This a globe is really what you got to do. All, but all, all globes are all fake is because chosen for a reason. The reason that stuff is where it you is. You know why globes are fake? Is because the center of that has a fold. Like, yeah. the edges uh, don't overlap anything. Yeah, right. It's the only way you can position it, that you can see everything at once. Yeah, yeah well, if you're in the center of the ice wall. One of these days, people are really... <laughs> <laughs> You can see quite a bit oh, from wow. the center of the ice wall. Uh, one of these days, everyone's going to actually believe... You can talk to God <laughs> in the center of the ice wall, too. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, we're going to have to do something with, with Ked Rock and, and Flat Earth. Okay. okay. <laughs> thank you guys It's not for, Flat Earth. It's God. no space. Thank you guys for being here. All right, space is fake. fake. Yeah. Uh, thank space you guys for being fake. here. Thank you all of our guests. Uh, some, some quick last-second uh, uh, info here. Tomorrow we have episode 10 of Ready to Roll. Uh, it'll be myself and Chris here to have a watch party with you here on Twitch. Yep. Um, and then <laughs> this weekend is the, the final, the second half of our Questline Open uh, Overwatch tournament. So tune in to not this Twitch channel, but Questline Esports on Twitch yep. uh, to check the rest of that out. And then Tuesday is the finale of Burn the North. So tune in for us in some crazy ass I think you're going to die. Looks. We might, we might die. I, I don't know how this is going to end. I thought the dragon fight was going to be the... I don't, I don't know what's going on anymore. It got very confusing in the last episode. Uh, and then Tuesday is our last broadcast. So that will be... Oh, uh, well, there'll yeah. be LFG Remote is what you're going to be looking forward to for the next month, essentially. essentially. Uh, there will be other stuff that we're going to be doing remote. But like I said, we're packing and we're moving. So no Filthy Talk next week. Tune in for uh, uh, Altero, and other than that, we will see you in about a month-ish. Until next time, stay filthy.